Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. Okay, I'm just doing another video here uh, covering a forum topic. And uh, this is an S2 member pro uh, customer who is writing in wanting to know if it's possible uh, to have, in this case, he wants to have uh, free access open, then he wants to be able to sell level one with managers. And where the tricky part for him is coming in, what he wants to do is he wants to have the people that he sells manager accounts to at level one. He wants to be able to give them the ability to buy uh, 50 accounts all at once for their employees and allow them to distribute those accounts, the username and password for those accounts, out to their employees. And then he's going to have an additional level here. But the important thing here that we're going to discuss in the video is how he could actually allow his level one members, the managers, to purchase uh, where he's already uh, tossed around some ideas here where he access links or vouchers. How he can have those 50 employees come to the site as a result of having been uh, given an account by the manager. In other words, the manager is purchasing all 50 then distributing them, have those employees then come to the site and register and they don't have to pay because they're already they've already been paid for. How do you do that? Okay, so I'm going to show you how that, that can be made possible, but I should warn you ahead of time before we get too far into the video that I'm not going to be able to get you all the way there. Uh, I can probably get you about 75-80% there, but S2 member, even with the Pro module, is not designed by default to meet the needs of this specific scenario all by itself. So although I'm going to get you most of the way there, there is still going to be some, a little bit of custom coding required on your part. You may need to get a developer to assist you with it. Uh, but we're going to get you most of the way there. Okay, one, of the requirement, uh, one of the requirements to, to complete the integration I'm about to show you is this plugin. If you go to WordPress.org, go to the Extend tab, uh, go to Plugins, pull up PHP Execution. You're going to need to, to have the ability to use PHP tags inside of a page in WordPress. To complete the integration, I'm going to I'm going to show here in the video. Okay, and this is a very lightweight plugin; it's not a huge deal. Uh, just go to WordPress.org and grab this before you get started. Uh, another, I'm going to switch tabs here and take you. This is an installation of WordPress 3.1, and at the time of this video, I'm running S2 member uh, version 3.5.7, and I have the S2 member Pro module installed, uh, version 1.5.7. Okay, and one of the other requirements to complete the integration I'm going to show you is that you need to have uh, uh, PayPal integrated so that you can utilize the pro forms. Now this will also work with Authorize.net, so either of these two. Either Authorize.net, you just need to be able to access the pro form integrations made possible by S2 Member Pro. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing we need to do here, looking at the original forum post here, is we need to be able to sell the manager uh, level one access. So let's just cover that quickly. Let's go back over here to our pro forms. Go to S2 member, click on pro forms, and we're going to bring up and generate a, a level one access checkout form. Okay, so I just enter in all the details here, how much, how much I want to charge, the billing terms, the description of this, uh, the currency, all of this. Generate my form. I grab the short code, paste that into a page in WordPress. And that's it. The customer checks out there. They become a level one member, designating them as a manager. Okay, so that part is pretty simple. Now, the next thing we need to be able to do is allow that manager, now that they're a member and they have an account, we need to be able to sell them those 50 accounts. Because in, from what I understand here, that's going to be a separate purchase, an optional purchase for managers. So now that they have an account, we need to be able to sell them these 50 employee uh, sub accounts, which is what you could call them. So the way we do that, I'm going to switch screens again, back to our pro forms. I'm going to scroll down here. The way you would do that is through the PayPal specific post page buy now forms, or again, this is also possible with authorized.net pro forms. So let's just expand this down. There's a lot of detail here, but I'm going to I'm going to go over uh, the important uh, portions of that here. What you will do is you will choose a or create a page and choose that page here in the drop down that you will designate as a thank you page for having purchased those 50 employee accounts. And when you protect that page using S2 members specific post page uh, restrictions, that page will be off limits to the public, including all members, because specific post page access is completely independent from membership level access. So purchasing a specific post or page, which is protected from anyone who has not purchased it, 
uh, will not affect the main membership or the recurring billing subscription associated with the membership of the manager. So that's perfect. This, in this case, what we, all we have to do is just create a page. Uh, we might call it our thank you page. And this is the page where you're going to actually deliver the 50 free accounts to that manager so that they can then distribute them out to their employees. Okay, so you can charge here whatever you want. You can provide up to five years of access to that page, uh, put it in the description, grab your short code, and make that available only to uh, a level one manager that's logged into their account. And you know you can do that through your navigation menu, or if you'd like to make sure that it's secured, you can take a look here in the API scripting sh uh, section of S2 Member. There's some real simple short codes that you can use to wrap around this form uh, to make sure that it cannot be used unless a, a customer uh, with level two access, or I'm sorry, level one access being a manager, they can actually access this form and check out and purchase those accounts. Okay, so the conditionals, the uh, or let me just go ahead and take you to those here so you're not, you're not guessing. Let's go ahead and load those up. In the API scripting section, okay, what you want to do is use simple conditionals. So you'll see here's just a simple, is the user logged in? Okay, and here we go. So you would take something like this, this is where your, your checkout form would go and see how it gets wrapped around S2 if current user can access level one. So this could just be, you would take this portion out, paste in your specific post page short code for the form and wrap it around these conditionals so that only a level one member can actually access that form and check out with it. Okay. Now, the question you're probably ask, uh, asking yourself is, okay, now what? On that page where I'm that I'm selling them access to on the thank you page, how do I deliver those 50 free accounts to them? And more importantly, how are they going to distribute them uh, to their employees? Okay, that's where free registration forms come in. So here under PayPal Pro Forms, free registration forms. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to use these to your advantage to complete this integration. By default, S2 Member says, okay, one form does it all. Uh, if you've used a S2 member for any length of time, you've probably seen that by default, a free subscriber is designated as level zero. And S2 member assumes that anyone coming in at one of the higher levels, levels one through four, that they're going to be paying for that. So by default, one form does it all. You copy the short code here. That produces a free registration form. You put it into a page, and that's how you allow people to come in without, any, without paying for anything. Okay. Now, what we should keep in mind here is that when the manager purchases 50 accounts they're paid for so when an employee receives a link to come to the site to register for their account then essentially they are getting in for free because they've already been paid for they're not paying anything when they come to register so in that sense this is not really far off from being uh, the solution to that problem all we need to do here is work out the details about how we're going to guard access to this unless there is a voucher or a coupon code or something identifying that employee when they come in. So that's what we're going to cover in the very next segment of the video. I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can change this short code. Okay, from the default, you see here, even though it says one form does it all, it goes on to talk about the fact that some of these attributes can be changed. So I'm going to cover that in the very next segment of the video, and I'm going to show you how an example of how you could implement this into a page where you would actually uh, verify that the voucher is valid. Okay, so we'll cover that in the very next segment.